Hey folks, welcome to the Creosphere. Today we're going to be diving into the software for the Creo Chimera. On opening the software, you're presented firstly with the button mapping of the mouse. Here you can select any of the buttons of the mouse and then assign them a function uh, rather than what they're set by default. This could either be a multimedia function, a macro, or any of the other functions mentioned in the list. We also have a profile section for the mouse. This allows us to create multiple profiles, have our presets set and stored and then used for the different use cases, either game-wise or usage-wise, anything of your choice. Next we have the performance section. This allows us to play around with the DPI settings of the mouse and change them from what they come preset. You can also change the color of the DPI levels and have them indicate based on whatever color preference of your choice. Here we have the polling rate section of the mouse. This can be set from anywhere between 125 hertz to 1000 hertz. 1000 is what we recommend you leave it set. At. Next we have the mouse movement speed. This can be used to either slow down or speed up your mouse and cursor movement at any preset DPI. Next, we have the mouse scroll speed. This is the speed at which the scroll wheel functions on the mouse. Then we have the double click speed. This is the speed at which it takes the mouse to register two consecutive clicks. Next, we have key response time. You can use this to uh, set a lag time for any reason uh, that it takes the mouse to register a click. Next, we have the lighting section of the mouse. The mouse comes with a host of preset lighting options and you can choose between any of these and see them take effect on the RGB section of the mouse. You can also choose between either speed or intensity of the light depending on the type of preset that is being chosen. This mouse being the wired version, you can also use the button below the mouse to cycle through these different lighting. Lastly, we have the macro section of the software. This allows us to create a macro and then have it register uh, multiple, say, key functions that can be carried out with a single click. For example, we create a macro first, then we say record, and we input our different functions that we want. And then we say stop. So now we have a macro created and this can be mapped to any button of the mouse and when you click it, the macro function will be carried. Not to forget, after changing anything on the software, remember to click apply for your settings to be saved and taken. Now, you are ready to go to your team.